What's up guys, this is Transaron3 coming again with another video review and today we're taking a look at something very different that I picked up recently this week from BBTS. It's very awesome. Um, if you follow me on uh, Instagram, you'll be seeing all you see all the pictures of what I got. Um, this is Iron Factory EX11 Evil Lord and it is a homage to the G1 and IDW uh, Power Master Overlord. So we got the smaller down version scales for from Iron Factory here. So we got uh, Giga Tank and Mega Mega Jet. I almost forgot their names. Their G1 names anyway. Um, so you got a nice tank and you got a jet. So and also bonus, you always you get this nice sword. So we'll get that. And then we get ramps, the ramps and stuff. He actually turns into a uh, city mode, just like the G1 did. So you got these ramps here, nice, nice blue color. So you also get uh, shows you instructions on how it says you're supposed to push this down and like to pull it to snap it up on the thing. So and come around to the back. Here's a teaser on this thing here. You see, there's this looks like a shockwave, a blitzwing, a Power Master Optimus Prime with Apex armor. Maybe an Optimus Prime. It looks like an well, another Optimus Prime, and it looks like a RC. So that's going to be coming here pretty soon for Iron Factory. So why did I get Iron Factory? Because this guy really caught my attention. So yeah, take a quick look at the box here. You got it's just a just a bubble shell in there a nice iron factory and I love these third party boxes he wasn't very that bad either 15 and up nice picture of evil lord on the side there iron factory come around to the side here more the back you got your your base mode I like that kind of you got the base mode with the tank and the jet and the robot same side you got tank and jet tank and a jet and then you get the robot over here and the bottom we get some warnings and poor child we see a sad child again right there sad child can't really see it there you go sad chad sad child so yeah nothing really going on with the packaging so throw that off to the side and let's move on to the figure itself so you get this nice little sword I haven't I've removed it yet so it's a bonus thing it's not metal or anything it's just a plastic so, so the instruction off to the side so that off to the side there you got Giga Tank and Mega Jet so, if I got their names wrong, I do believe, so sorry. Uh, but again, what could you do? So, very nice. Very nice jet mode. The landing gear for him folds up underneath here. You only get... Get your nail up in here. To get the landing gear out. And it is hard. There we go. And then you get these little stubbies right here. For... For landing gear I guess so yeah and then you got the tank nice molded details going on here got those turbine thrusters on the side there this does rotate up and down it does not move here because he splits in half for robot mode but but like some people did say is like you can pull these posts out like so Unpeg this section here like so. Remove. Unpeg this like so. Just split them in half. And it'd give him his G1 looking jet tank mode thing. <laughs> you can do that. So the turbine's there. You got the wings up here. So it don't look that awful. So. Or you can leave his legs split. Give him a little bit better. So, and the ramps, and the extra ramps is what gets me. There is no storage for these ramps anywhere. So, 
snap his back into place. Put his butt back together here. Come on, there we go. But these nubs back here, and there's a port here. I think you can put them here, but it's really tight, and I don't want to break the plastic. So, yeah, that would be good landing gear for Mega Jet here. But, again, what could you do? So, you know, I said, guys, let us get down to uh, transformation for them for their base mode. Now, how they do that for the base mode is you can remove this if you want, this whole thing, but that's for robot mode. This does come up like so. This folds back. Then you unpeg his arm, you rotate it completely up, fold the wing back. Same thing over here. Fold this up. Then you grab these two panels here, swing them out, swing that out. Make sure his feet is completely straight. Forgive me if you guys don't have enough light here. So, you can put one ramp right here, like so. Get that to stand up, like so. Alrighty. And then these other two ramps just peg in on the sides here. It's just like doesn't matter which one's which. So, and then you get Giga Tank here, split him in half. Then you want to rotate, get rid of the turbine here. The turbines here gets put off to the side, which sucks. Sit them off to the side. And what you want to do is grab the tank treads here, I'll peg them. You want to bring this section over, like so, over, like so, and then these just sit right in there, just nothing really fancy going on there, but there you got the base mode of Evil Lord, which is pretty cool, it, it's nice playability and stuff, I'm, I'm glad they did the city mode with it for, for this uh, Iron Factory figure, very cool. So, you got little ramps there, and there is no storage for these unless you want to peg these on top of the tank, like so. Eh. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So, yeah. So, you know, I said let's get him into his robot mode. So, well, actually, before I get to that, let's get to scale comparison here. Let's bring in Combiner Wars Rodimus, just to show you how big this is compar uh, compared to the regular Legions. So, we'll set him off to the side for now. So, so you know, set. Get him into robot mode. Just straighten these back out. Get these purple bits up. That's one leg. Remove this, this becomes a gun. Like so. Rotate that up. Like so. Same thing over here. Then you got the legs. So we'll set the legs outside. Ramps. It has a part of the leg. Doesn't matter which one it is. See a port and a hole right there. Just clips into place. Same thing on this side. Oops, I just put it off backwards. Uh, there we go. Like so. And then the thrusters gets put pegged in on the back in the tank tread bay. So very cool. So First thing you want to do is unpeg this section here. This comes off and becomes his handheld shield. You can unpeg this thing, but I can't really keep that unhooked. But it's better, it gives you a bigger shield though, too. Fold these back. Oh, before that, get rid of the ramp. The ramp does not do anything else in this mode, which really sucks. So, rotate his head around. Get his hands out. 
like so. Rotate this down. Come on. Come on, hand. That's the only part that really gets me. Is his hands. They're really hard. Clip it into place. Now you can get rid of this one wing here. And it gets stored right there on the side of his arm. And then you can peg this one. This wing here. So you don't want storage. Set it off to the side. And then you post these into those little pegs right there. Like so. And then we got Evil Lord in his robot mode. So yeah, a very cool figure. Give him his gun. Move that over, I almost forgot that one. Part of the transformation. So yeah, there we got Evil Lord in his robot mode. Now the right, uh, this one ramp can get stored back here, but it's really loose. There's a little port right there, but it's really loose. So, it would have been nice if it was better to hold that back here. But again, what could you do, guys? So, yeah. Now, said, guys, you can also get him his gun. Put him in his right, put it with his right shield there. And give it, call it a right shield. Looks like a sky boom shield there for a little bit. Give him a sword. So, this is pretty much for an IDW looking overlord. So yeah, very cool. Scale wise, let me transform Rodimus here real quick. I just popped his leg off. That's what happens whenever he be gets demoted to become a chess minion. So, Legion scale, it's very cool. I really highly recommend it guys. You guys need to pick this Iron Factory up. Iron Factory Evil Lord. This Overlord is badass. I highly recommend it. So. You know said guys. So. This is Trans Arm. Reviewing the new Iron Factory. EX11. Evil Lord. So. You can flip that down if you want there too. So. <laughs> His articulation wise on him is pretty awesome. I highly recommend it guys. Nice ball joints, a little ball jointed head. So very nice looking figure. Highly recommend getting it guys. Even got ball jointed freaking feet for uh, stability. So yeah. Pick this figure up. He is badass. So this is Trans Aaron reviewing the new Iron Factory, Evil Lord, and this is Trans Iron 38 talking to you. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and comment on any videos I do, and keep a lookout for new videos headed your way. Also, check me out on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all those good stuff. And don't forget to check out every everybody of my good buddies of mine down in the description below. Mike Mouse 74, V Decepticon, Evil Krillin Gaming, Call of Duty Mods, Cow Pigeon 8. And that's all I can say today, guys. So this is Trans Aaron 38 talking again. Have an awesome day.